Today, I'd like to talk about a new quantum algorithm to demodulate high-dimensional modulation. My name is Toshiaki Koike Akino at MAO, Mitsubishi Electric Research Lab. First, I talk about what is high-dimensional modulation. Then, we talk about a new trend of quantum technology. By focusing on QAOA, quantum approximate optimization algorithm, we propose a new demodulation method which uses both quantum and classical chips. We show some results in simulation and on real quantum chips. For modulation system in coherent optical communications, we may use 1D PAM for regular QAM in 2D cases. However, if we use a denser lattice like hexagonal lattice, we can achieve more power efficient constellations. Considering more dimensions in hyperspheres, we can select a finite constellation point to optimize HDN. However, this kind of spherical cutting method has a drawback in labeling optimizations. Alternatively, we can consider block coded HDN. In hypercube, we can consider algebraic codes like SPC. Then we can select the finite constellation point in high dimensions, which can automatically resolve the problem of labeling. Let's see the gain of HDN in asymptotic sensitivity. Y axis is a different spectral efficiency. Let's see the BPSK, which is 1D, then increasing the dimensionality to 4, 6, 8, 16, and 24, we can achieve a significant gain in sensitivity, like 6 dB. Not only the packing gain, HDN has another benefit for nonlinear fiber. Some HDN was designed to reduce nonlinear interference, like constant modulus modulations, Grassmann code, and X constellations. However, HDM has a drawback in complexity in general. In particular, if we want to calculate LNR, we need exponentially large constellation points. So people are using simplified method, for example, mean some belief propagation. In this talk, we propose a new framework which uses quantum processing unit, QPU. Let's see the new trend of quantum computing. Morgan Stanley said quantum technology can drive a new fourth industrial revolution. And government funds such a quantum technology. And many com companies are now building up real quantum chips, including IBM, Google, Microsoft, Honeywell. And we can use free library to evaluate those real chips and uh, simulations. Since 2014, a new trend uh, occurred. We call variational method. This uses both quantum and classical chips. 2014, in nature, the people proposed variational quantum eigensolver. At the same time, QAOA was proposed. Those variational method is known very robust to uh, practical quantum chips. The current quantum chips has uh, uh, imperfect quantum gates control, so there, uh, we cannot achieve idealistic performance, but this variational quantum algorithm we can use, uh, optimize the parameter to control the gate. So we use classical CPU to optimize the gate parameter. Then we get some measurement from quantum chips. This hybrid method is very known to robust the noisy intermediate scale quantum NISC devices. The QAOA is also a similar method. Uh, the 
this uses both uh, cost Hamiltonian and mixer Hamiltonian. This is very similar method of quantum annealing. But difference is actually a discrete step uh, annealing. And using many steps of this annealing, uh, this can converge to the global optima. An analytical theory said that uh, some particular applications, this QLA can outperform the classical method to solve the global optimum. But this uh, paper, uh, we don't consider a quantum communications or quantum error corrections. Actually, we just applied those new quantum algorithm to replace the classical DSP. If we have uh, uh, available quantum chips on hand, then we can offload a uh, high complexity DSP, DSP algorithm into the quantum processor. That is our concept. For high dimensional modulations, if we use linear codes, uh, linear code has a constraint in specified by the generator matrix. And this maximal likelihood decoding is the cumbersome, like uh, exponential complexity is required. So this NPA hard problem uh, can be reformulated in a quantum processor problem. And uh, in ISIT, we propose uh, a new ising Hamiltonian model to convert the ML decoding to quantum problem. Let's see the example. For example, Hamming code uh, has this four by seven gen generator matrix. Each row is represented by a quantum spin. Then those spin has some constraint in code words. Then each column has a, a power Z rotation product. And maximizing this uh, cost Hamiltonian, we can achieve the max ML decision. Actually, this is uh, different from the max cut problem. And our proposal uses both uh, CPU and QPU. Uh, in CPU, uh, we just optimize a parameter for the cost Hamiltonian. Then the QPU, we measure the quantum uh, evolution. And this is an actual quantum gate circuit model. Uh, initially, we use Admart gates to shuffle the bits, quantum spin. Then uh, we use cost Hamiltonian. Then uh, we mix up by using uh, mixer Hamiltonian. And this cost Hamiltonian is, uh, can be implemented by C naught, control naught. And uh, designing the parameter better angle and gamma angle for the cost Hamiltonian and mixer Hamiltonian, we can optimize, we can achieve the very good performance. Here, uh, we can use VQE method to optimize such an angle parameter, or sometimes we can analytically solve the parameter gamma and beta. This shows a landmark of the cost Hamiltonian um, eigenvalue. And here we can see the best gamma and beta parameter to be our largest eigenvalue for 40 HDM, 60 uh, HD, and 12 D HDM method. Uh, let's see the performance of QLA demodulations here uh, for the different dimensions. And if we use just level one QLA or two repetition QLA or three repetition QLA, uh, we can achieve the idealistic uh, cost expectations for some demodulation dimension. And increasing the eigenvalue can lead to uh, minimizing the cross entropy loss like this, which means that uh, we can achieve a high mutual information. Let's see the simulation results and the real quantum chip results. By using multiple quantum measurements, 
uh, we can achieve a uh, hundred percent success rate to achieve the ML decisions. But quantum real quantum chip has uh, uh, imperfections, then the, there is some drawback degradations, but it, which is uh, still better than the random demodulation. And this shows a real quantum chip performance by using IBM Q5 and IBM Q14 for different dimensions. And unfortunately, uh, the levels two and three had no particular gain uh, in quantum, real quantum chips. But uh, we can achieve a small cross entropy for some low dimensionality for now. And if we use wave function amplifications, uh, we can achieve a better performance. Anyway, we didn't optimize parameter for the real quantum chips, so that we have uh, some rooms to optimize parameter. Let's conclude. Uh, we investigated HDM demodulations using quantum processor, and we introduced a variational method. And we show some feasibility on real quantum chips. We think this is a very new trend to design the DSP for quantum ready future. Uh, please contact me. Thank you so much.